Want to start using the new Photoshop app for iPhone, but not sure how it works? I'm Jessica, and this video will be our beginner's guide to Photoshop for iPhone, where I'll show you all the basics of using the app. Now let's get started. The Photoshop app for iPhone is free to download and use. When you first download the Photoshop app, you'll be prompted to sign in or create an account. You can sign in with an existing Adobe, Apple, or Google account, or sign up for an account with your email address. Once you're signed in, you can begin using the Photoshop app. At the top, in the Welcome to Photoshop section, you'll find some helpful learning content that shows how to use some of the different features of the app. There are a few different options to begin your first project. To edit a photo from your camera roll, tap From Your Photos. Or you can start with a blank canvas, generate an image using AI, or using an Adobe stock photo. If you're choosing any of the options besides editing a photo from your camera roll, you'll need to choose a size ratio for the image you want to create. To do basic image edits, tap the plus sign and select Adjustment Layer. Now choose the type of adjustments you want to make, like hue and saturation, brightness and contrast, black and white, color balance, exposure, curves, and vibrance. Use the sliders to make the adjustments you want to make. If you want to apply an edit to only a specific part of an image, you can do so using the selection tool. Let's say I wanted to make just the background of this image black and white while keeping the people in color. Tap Select Area. Then select the part of the image you want to select. I'm choosing Background. Then tap the check mark. You'll see these moving lines around the area you've selected. Now I can adjust the selected area. If you want to change the background, you can use Generative Fill to use the Photoshop AI to create a new background, or use the Fill Area option to fill it with a solid colored background. You could also cut out the subject and select Apply as Mask to show just the selected subject. Then you can add a new image layer to add a new background image from your photos, from Adobe Stock, or using the AI Image Generator. In the Layer Properties panel, you can send a layer forwards or backwards using the up and down arrows. You can also show or hide a layer by tapping the eye icon. You can use the Generative Fill AI tool to create entire images, backgrounds, or add fun flourishes to your images. I want to add something in a certain part of this image, so I'm going to add an empty layer. Then choose Select Area. I'm going to use the lasso tool to select where I want to add something. Then use Generative Fill to create what you want to add. Type in what you're looking for, then tap Generate. Tap through the different options generated to select one. If you want more options, tap More. Tap the check mark to add one of these to your image. This makes it easy to create fun, unique designs in the Photoshop app. Add text to an image by tapping the plus sign and selecting Type Layer. Type in what you want your text box to say. Tap Text Options to edit the appearance of your text, including font, style, size, and color, as well as how your text is aligned. Tap the check mark to save your text style changes. Drag your text box where you want it to sit on your image. You can rotate the text by dragging the Tilt tool above the text box to the left or right. Your creation will automatically be saved within the Photoshop app, but you can export a copy to your device's camera roll by tapping the Share icon at the top. Then tap Quick Export as PNG, and select Save Image. That does it for our beginner's guide to using the Photoshop app. Want to learn how to edit videos? 
check out our beginner's guide to CapCut next. Click the video on your screen now to watch. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every day.